It was a lithium ion battery for another battery they had. It was also lithium ion, and they were charging it to get ready to ship it off site for an activity they were going to be performing. They were charging, monitoring the telemetry coming off that uh, battery. Everything was going fine. They left for lunch. And we had the battery explode. And if you notice where that fire came out was exactly where our researchers were standing. It could have been a very bad day. This is an intern from the adjacent laboratory. He had climbed through a window. He was not associated with this project. He was using a CO2 fire extinguisher that was in the area. And as you notice, the CO2 fire extinguisher is not effective in putting out that fire. The safety data sheet had called for a type D fire extinguisher and not to use water. There was no type D fire extinguisher available. One of the things we're learning is a type D and a CO2 fire extinguisher are not effective in putting out these type fires. One misnomer is in lithium ion batteries, there is not a lot of free lithium. So water is the best method at dissipating the heat and putting out these type fires. The smoke you see coming off of that battery contains hydrogen fluoride, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. At the same time you saw the intern coming into the laboratory, another intern had gone out and pulled the fire extinguisher, alerting the fire department. They were en route. When they responded, they came in an appropriate PPE. They also grabbed a CO2 fire extinguisher that was available in the location. And this was also ineffective at putting out the fire.